need to free my mind now. I really need, I really need my mind now. I really need, I need to free my mind now. I really need, I really need my mind now. I really need, I need to free my mind now. I really need, I really need my mind now. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wind Down Wednesdays. If you are new here, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. On this week's episode of Wind Down Wednesday, I wanted to talk about work-life balance. I feel like it is extremely important to talk about work-life balance because personally, this is something that I have been struggling with the last few weeks, or let me be honest, the last few months. And in order to live a stress-free, healthier, productive life, I feel like you do need to have balance with your work life and your personal life. Before we get into the video, make sure you are subscribed. And if you have not done so already, make sure your post notifications are turned on so you are notified each and every time that I post. Some may ask, what is work-life balance, right? Work-life balance, in its simplest definition, is distributing your time to both your professional life and your career, as well as your personal life outside of working. A lot of times this is hard because when you have a career or when you have a job to go to, like a nine to five, like I currently have, you are assigned to be there from nine to five so of course that includes your travel time to and from work as well as your eight hours or seven hours or nine hours whatever shift you do you are assigned to be there that is your task so you have no choice but to show up there you know what i mean now when it comes to personal life you don't really have a schedule i feel like a lot of us fall into the trap of kind of working around work or having a personal life around work and that's where we need to do a better job at balancing the two. The same way you create a schedule for work or a schedule is created for you, I've learned that it's very important to also create a schedule for your personal life, your leisure, your family, your spouse, your children, whatever it is that you have or whoever it is that you have, you also need to create a schedule for them or a schedule around them and around yourself so you don't become burned out. A lot of times we feel like, okay, we went to school, we got this degree, so we have to work because we have to either pay back that tuition or it's like I did all these years of school or all these, you know, hours of work or clinicals or something if you are a nurse and then it's like I have to, you know, work this off. So that's why we work long hours or we work very demanding jobs. Let's face it, if you live in New York, it's just very demanding here. Everything that you want to do is extremely expensive, whether it's rent, mortgage, cars, just shopping, even at the grocery store, everything is getting more and more expensive. So you have to work. Some of us decide to have two jobs or three jobs and that is cutting into the work-life balance. Having no balance between your work and your personal life, that can lead to many things such as conflict with your family, it can lead to a decline in your health, if you're not properly managing the stress or if you're not properly taking time for yourself, you know, so you start getting headaches, you start getting lightheaded if you don't get to eat lunch, your body just starts feeling overwhelmed, and that can easily lead to a heart attack or any type of health concern. So that's why I do feel like it declines your health if you don't have any balance and not for nothing, not to bash any job. If something happens to any one of us today or tomorrow, you're getting replaced like the next day or the next week. The jobs don't stop for you. So always make sure you take time to take care of yourself and make sure you balance your work life. Some other things that can happen when you don't balance your work life, you can feel like you're neglecting your kids. If you have children and then you come home from work, you may not have the mental capacity to help them with their homework or to make dinner or just to spend time with them. Same thing goes for your spouse or whoever else you have in your life. You may not have time for them and it may seem like you're neglecting them, which will cause issues within your family, within your personal life. Although work makes you the money, your personal life is very important because at the end of the day, you come home to your family, you come home to your home. I talk about this a lot with our personal lives. Do not pour from your cup. You should only be pouring from your overflow. And I feel like the same thing goes with work. 
a lot of times we like to be helpful and we like to help our coworkers and our colleagues with their tasks or you just take on more if someone asks you to do something. I don't think we ever really stop and say, not right now, I'm busy with this task or unfortunately my plate is full. And I think we need to learn to start speaking up on that and only pouring from your overflow, which means if you have downtime, help them on your downtime. If you have nothing pending, help them. But if you have a lot on your plate already and you have a lot to scratch off your to-do list, I don't think you should take on more because that's just gonna slow you down and that's gonna drain you. And it may not be intentionally draining you, but it's gonna drain you. Something that we all can do to help manage the work-life balance, prioritize things and make a priority list of things you wanna accomplish in your, in your nine to five work day, right? And then also things you wanna accomplish, let's say, in your personal life, so from like six to 10. Also, just, you know, creating a schedule of, of what you can do to manage your time. Last weekend, I, not last weekend, you know, the holiday, the 4th of July holiday threw us off. For the 4th of July holiday, I went by a friend's house and shout out to you, Tati. We always talk about like being each other's accountability partners, but I think it was very important what we did. We sat down and we had a notebook and we wrote down kind of our list of what both of us want to do and or things we need to do and so we both wrote down a list of each other's things and we got a picture of it holding each other accountable so that goes back to making that priority list i think making a priority list is extremely important because it keeps you focused on what you need to do and what you want to do realistically a lot of us don't want to go to work and work a nine to five i'm just being honest and this is no bashing any companies because i like my job <laughs> it is very demanding and it is very draining right now because we are short staff but that's neither here or there i feel like a lot of times when we go to work we kind of lose focus on our dreams or goals that we have if you're not new to my channel i'm sure you heard me mention that i like to write i love to write and i was working on some books i also have something else that i've been working on i feel like we kind of put that on the back we put our own dreams or our own goals on the back burner because we have to make money of course what we want to do it's not gonna make us money right now. So going to work is just the easier option to just make money right now. I still feel like it's important to work on yourself and work towards what you want for yourself while working a job. So that's why you really have to learn how to manage the work-life balance and just manage your time a little better and make sure you stay focused on what it is you want for yourself so you don't just work all your life and then look back and say, oh, I never got a chance to do this or I never did what I really wanted to do. I would say for myself, yes, as I mentioned, I've been drained from work. So when I've been coming home from work, let's say I get home at six, shower. I'm normally in bed by seven. I may get up to cook and eat. So I'll be in the living room for like 10 minutes to eat and then I'll get right back in the bed. And I just am going to try to come home from work and just be productive. I did kind of create a schedule, like I created a content schedule for when I want to record and when I want to edit my videos. That's something that uh, I did with Tati on my list of things I wanted to do. So I just feel like just maintaining that list and just following the things that I wrote down because there's, again, there's stuff I want to do outside of work. I want to get back in the gym. I want to work out. I want to meal plan. I want to meal prep. I want to record my content. I want to edit my content. I want to have a social life. I want to go out. I want to spend time with my family. And if you don't have balance, you can't do that because you're not going to have the mental capacity to do it. If you have any tips on how you manage work-life balance, please drop them down below. This also goes for if you have your own business, how do you manage your business and how do you manage your personal life? Or if you're in school, how do you manage school life? in your personal life. Again, feel free to drop any comments down below and let me know what are some healthy ways to manage work-life balance. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Wind Down Wednesdays. As always, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to like the video, comment down below. As I mentioned earlier, if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and please turn on your notification bell so you don't miss any episodes of Wind Down Wednesdays. And I'll see you next week with another episode.